Hey. Mm. All right, mission, mission base. All right, so uh, for the past week, I had to uh, do sour jars. And it's a, it's a funny story about the sour jars. Um, you know, uh, a person that I know made me feel like, even though she didn't tell me to do anything, because she, she didn't tell me to do anything. Uh, so I don't want to blame her. But she incited me with the wrong information Or half information Or information she did not know full, fully about And this is what I'm going to do from now on when it comes to her She will tell you information that she doesn't fully know And she don't know She didn't ask enough questions She didn't do enough investigating And the scariest part about her is that And this is the second time I fell for, I fell for this with her she led me to believe something that she'll let you like i say all the time about her she'll let you believe whatever you want to believe and if that belief puts you in danger she's not accountable for it and the scariest thing about it is she doesn't understand she's a powerful person who can get who can influence people to do things and maybe she does know that but she'd rather keep it secret and i realized that She'll make you believe what you she'll get you to believe and she's so good at it. She'll get you to believe whatever you want to believe. And then then when she gets you to believe what you want what she wants you to believe, um she'll she'll lead you on for you to take action in danger. And um, um, so the scary thing about it is that she's one of those females who will low key kind of set you up, and because she believes in some karma, it won't be intentional. But because she's not wounded, because she's not healed, she'll either do it intentionally, unintentionally, because of her ignorance. So when she got me incited to believe something was going on faster than what it was, what I didn't believe was the person that who was spiritual at the time we was talking I was talking to, and he was like his guide said, "Yo, chill out." Cuz I don't want my I don't want her I don't want her to be leaving. And this is a key thing. She said, "I don't want her to be leaving. I'm that I'm that controllable. I'm that impulsive." And because I'm I'm I was his I was the lighter side of Mars. He was a Scorpio, I'm an Aries. As an Aries, I am that impulsive. So I'll gun hole boop. Oh, yo, you should fuck with my family. And the scary thing about it for her is that she's not that way with me. Like she won't gun, she won't gun hold quick, take action when it comes to me. Unless it's a deep, dark emergency. But when it comes to regular stuff, it's like whatever. That's not my business. And I have to mirror that energy when it comes to her. So when I when I did this jar, because I because also because not just because of her, because he was he was in, he was threatening my life. So I had to put a pause to that. And um and the more he inc the more he incited my anger, the the worse it was gonna get for him. But uh, I had to reverse it, but partially because of my ignorance as well. But she is it, the key is the is the is the ring leader so and i can't and like like he when we spoke um one of the things that we one of the things that i came to my understanding was that because she is the ring leader it's like when when all the sides stop going around doing stupidness we look at this we look at the ring leader like you're the problem it's not us it's you you misfed us so when i was misled with information and I gun hold impulsively move which is my fault I created a sour jar I created a sour jar just on somebody that didn't need it that that 
uh, who, I did create a sour jar of somebody that was not my enemy. He's not my friend, but he's not my enemy. And he's not my acquaintance either. He's just somebody I know. Well, you can say acquaintance, I guess. But today, because I learned and I've accepted that she's toxic, I did a sour jar for our relationship to not, well, not sour, but for her to get off my mind, my heart, and my soul. And this morning, I feel lighter than I felt um, when it came to her in a, in a while. Because this morning, I was, this morning, I was just singing uh, Let Go by Dwayne Woods. And because I really don't want no harm coming her way. But I've also accepted if the relationship dissolves, I'm okay with that too. Um... Um, I don't need it. I don't need us to argue and to fight and to fuss because we most likely won't be doing that. But I'm okay with. I'm okay with the relationship uh, not working out because she's not. She's a very toxic person, and she tries to act like she's not. And she paints the deepest. She's she's great at painting an illusion that she's better than she is. And anybody who's super intuitive sees the brokenness on her. And like I seen a recent picture, and I, and I don't know what it is. I just, it just, I just see the brokenness. And if I if I were to get into her chart, I probably would know know how, um, because she's not the type of woman where she's gonna tell you. And I'm realizing that since day one, like she won't tell you her brokenness. Like she won't really tell. She wants you to. She wants you to assume. She wants you to in, in, uh, spirit, uh, uh, spiritually or uh, in, intuitively know. And that's very toxic because you could be picking up wrong things unless you're extremely intuitive. Um, and she, she wants you to kind of incite her healing. And what I learned is that when you're not honest and transparent about what's going on in your life, especially with people where you need the help, um, you, you lead to destruction. So comment 999. For, for, for the sour jar that I used um, For the sour jar ingredients Or sour jar The sour jar guide That's going to be That's going to be my healing guide By the way uh, For $97 So I had to I had to realize Like this person that she Made me feel Was the enemy Was all along For the past Year Is not the enemy He is He is a problem To her To their To their vibration But he's not the enemy and because of my pure energy, um, things settled down. But I had to do something with her because she really isn't. She really is a toxic person, and she's one. She's like, in other words, she she would be what you call a wolf in sheep's clothes. So when you're dealing with a wolf in sheep's clothes, they'll play innocent, and I would even say play dumb. Um, yeah. I would even say play dumb so you can believe that <clears throat> there's something that they're not and when it is time they're wolves for mine the, th the thing is about me I pray for protection so much that the universe will send people who will make the wolf aware to me because I, I don't come with malice I don't come with coming to harm people um, at all Intentionally or subconsciously or, or subconsciously I do not go around harming people um, I really be minding my fucking business As much And I'm, I'm gonna get really fucking good at that Minding my fucking business So The better I get at minding my fucking business The more The less I The less I even Unintentionally harm people So when I realize that this person will put you in harm when I've accepted the idealism that this person and it's, and it's true this person will put you in harm's way in harm's way with ignorance and 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 be arrogant about it um be so arrogant about how she puts you in danger and me, meaning arrogant when I say that meaning she won't apologize she won't say she's sorry and she won't own up and she won't help you fix it either She'll be like, that's your problem. Unless it deeply involves her. So I had to say, I had to tell myself, do I want to get involved in that? Absolutely not. You know why? Because my energy is pure. And I don't have time for that foolishness. I, 
I, I, when I, when I, when I fuck over somebody, I apologize. I feel bad. I don't, I don't like it. You feel what I'm saying? If I do something that really fucks somebody over, I do my best to honor them. So I had to check myself. I said, I, I don't want no harm for her because I, because right now I, 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 I still care about her. So, but right now I just want her to, I, do, I just want to disconnect between me and her. I want nothing to do with her because that right there will, will that right there is is the hugest red flag of them all if you're gonna put somebody unconsciously in danger or consciously in danger and they only know half the story they only know half of the truth they only know uh 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 um uh so, uh grains of salt when it comes to your behavior that's horrible i rather deal with a person who's super transparent and they're super honest and they're super upfront so you can't miss a thing but with a person who and and at least you know how to deal with them then saying a person who who who, play, who plays a wolf in sheep's clothes and they feed you breadcrumbs and you don't even know if that breadcrumb is is, is you're, they're breadcrumbing you to to your to your to your slaughter like like yeah She'll breadcrumb you to your slaughter. And on, the only reason why she won't intentionally do it at times is because she knows she, she believes in karma. So she believes that come that come back around. So she'll try to she'll, in other words, she'll try not to vindictively do it. And and I said, but unconsciously is not is not really any better for real. Unconsciously sometimes it's even worse. Because if you're not, un if you're unconsciously leaving people to their slaughter, you'll you'll lose so many relationships because you are unconsciously leading people to their slaughter. And if they are not, they are not aware. They, they, will. If they are not aware, they are not righteous. They are not disciplined. They'll play the blame game just like you. Instead of being like me, where I take accountability, I say she gotta go. I can't, I can't fuck with that no more. And, you know, that's where I'm at with it right now. I can't fuck with her anymore. Because she's, she is unhealed and she's living in her womb. And, I, and I, it's time for me to grow up in myself and, and go hard body. So I used the sour jar this morning. I'm going to keep working on it this weekend. You know, Sunday or Monday. I'm either going to bury it. I haven't decided yet. Um, or I'm going to. I'm gonna um I'm either gonna bury it or I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw it away. So so like I said, it you know I don't you know I had to do this sour jar because I can't take her anymore. And I know I gotta I gotta emotionally disconnect and I feel so I have I feel so much better than I felt in a couple months. Because she's not on my mind, she's not on my heart, she's not on my spirit, and it's, I'm light. I feel light, and I, I know the sour jar worked. Um, common nine 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 for the for the stuff that I used, and we're gonna talk about it in my healing guide as well. Um, peace.